Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create this space illustration in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with a new document, Ctrl M, Command N. And first let's create this background, this space. And uh, I'm gonna start with a circle. Click L or grab ellipse on the toolbar. Hit once on your artboard and link between width and height to constrain the proportion and set the width and height both to the 915 points. Click OK to create this circle. I'm gonna align it uh, to the center of my document vertically and then grab and move it horizontally. So, uh, go to the gradient and uh, on my, the gradient panel let me apply the default gradient. Then change the type of your gradient to the radial and add two color stops in the middle. So let's start from the left right and I'm gonna start to the leftmost color stop. Double click on this color stop and in this uh, field for the decimal value I'm gonna set this value here. You can also find it on the description so you can probably copy paste them as well. So 33 to 0 6D and click hit enter to apply changes. So uh, here I'm gonna speed up a bit this part of this tutorial. So our next step is to create a planet. So for planet we need to grab our circle again, click L, hit once on your artboard. And for this circle, I'm going to set the width and height to 400 points. I'll click OK. Uh, very nice. And let's apply the gradient. So navigate to the gradient panel. I'm going to start with the default. Uh, create two more uh, color stop in the middle. And for this color stop, leftmost, I'm going to apply this FFB689. So guys, I'm gonna speed up a bit my tutorial. Again, you can find these colors in the description, so you can simply copy and paste them, uh, like so. Uh, next step is to distribute our uh, gradient properly. So grab your uh, gradient tool or click G, and I'm gonna distribute it from top left to bottom right, and go just beyond the circle. Very nice, our planet is ready and let's create a ring around. To create a ring, grab your circle again, create ellipse with the width of 540 pixels and height of around 190 pixels. Uh, beautiful. Let's go and swap fill and stroke. And for the stroke, I'm going to set the weight to 15 points. Great. Let's apply the gradient again. I'm going to apply this gradient again. You can find this in the description. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this is a simple line of gradient. And I apply this gradient from the left to the right. The first color stop is the E898 to B. Really nice. Let's uh, rotate our uh, ring to around 20 degrees and go to the object path and outline to outline our stroke. Great. Uh, create a duplicate of this planet, of this circle, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And then uh, select both your circle and this ring. Grab your shape builder tool or click Shift M and slice this little path, like so. Now let's delete all unnecessary paths here. And now we have a ring. Uh, I think it's a bit off. You probably uh, do it better than I. So let's create a shadow. Ctrl C, a Ctrl B to create a duplicate and set it to back. Uh, then with the, your down arrow key, Move it a bit to the bottom and then with the right right mouse, uh, arrow key, move it a bit to the right. Great. Let's apply a gray color here. Navigate to your slider 
and select this DA, DA, D8. Click OK. Go to the transparency or you can do it with the properties panel and set the blending mode from normal to multiply. Great, our planet is ready and let's create our space dust. So in order to create our clouds, first of all navigate to your pencil tool and double click on it. Set the fidelity to smooth and click OK. With your pencil tool navigate to the new layer and start drawing the clouds. We need to cre create this wavy shape right inside our space. First one. I'm gonna select uh, the first shape, like so. Then create a duplicate of the uh, space with Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And keep your this duplicate selected, then create your uh, select your wavy line, grab the shape build tool and select this part. I'm gonna select all in the middle and delete it. And with this wavy shape, I'm gonna apply the simple white color. I'm gonna reduce the uh, uh, place it on the new layer and reduce the opacity of this wave to around 30%. Nice. Now you know the pattern and I'm gonna again speed up a bit this tutorial. I'm gonna create a two more duplicates. For my second and third duplicate, I'm gonna set transparency to 50%. So guys, once you created these shapes, let's select them all. Using the shift key on my last panel, I'm gonna create a group. So Ctrl G, Command G on your mark. Then navigate to the transparency and hit on this uh, little button, make mask to create a transparency mask. And for this mask, uh, first select it, create another ellipse. This ellipse should have uh, 915 pixels width and height, so it's probably better to create a duplicate of this space. But it's okay, I'm gonna create, and I'm gonna place it here first, right in the middle, so it's cover all of my space, like so, then go to the gradient and apply a default gradient. Uh, set it to radial, and then, well, okay, uh, this looks very nice. Uh, leave your isolation mode, clicking on this thumbnail, and let's create other parts of our design, these uh, comets and these little tiny stars. So let's create our comet. Uh, grab your ellipse tool and hit once on your artboard and set the width to around 180 points, both width and height. Click OK and uh, let's go basically to the our planet and the reason why I here because I'm gonna rob this gradient from my ring and apply it to my um, uh, to my uh, circle with the slight changes first of all I'm gonna uh, change the direction of this gradient I'm gonna apply the direction from top to bottom then I'm gonna navigate to the color artwork tool this tiny icon on the top of my document and first of all I'm gonna select this yellow and desaturate it a bit and make it a bit darker then I'm gonna create select this red and do the same desaturate and make it a bit darker uh, with my magenta color okay uh, let's make this color desaturated a bit and make it a bit darker so very nice now let's go and create another ellipse. So uh, grab your ellipse tool and uh, for this ellipse I'm gonna size it with around 40 
points. Okay, 38. I'm gonna apply the white color and go to the transparency and set the transparency to zero. Next is my list in is blend tool. So select them both, go to the object, blend, and blend options. I'm gonna set the spacing to specify distance and value of distance to of all points three points click OK and now Ctrl Alt B or Command Option B on your Mac to create the shape. Let's move it uh, to my main composition. Uh, it's finally on the layer I want. Then I'm gonna resize it to the size round with the width of 100 uh, pixels rotate it and place it like so. Now I'm gonna create a few symbols. So uh, locate your symbols panel. If you can find your symbols panel, go to the Windows symbols. Locate and throw it to your symbols panel. I'm gonna leave all values to the default and click OK. Now with your symbol spread tool or Shift S I'm gonna spray a few symbols. Guys, this procedure requires some time. Probably it's a bit heavy for Adobe Illustrator. Very nice. Gra grab your symbol screener tool. Again, guys, if you are not familiar with these tools, I advise you to grab my symbols course in Adobe Illustrator because it's the best course about symbols and how to use them and how they help you and leverage your workflow. So I make some symbols uh, semi-transparent. Looks very, very, very nice. Uh, then I'm gonna grab a symbol size tool and Resize uh, my some of my symbols in this symbol set. So hold Alt or Option key to make them smaller. Next in our list is the opacity mask. So select your symbol set and navigate to the transparency panel and click Make Mask. So guys, it should uh, all of your comments should disappear. Then select the isolation mode of your mask. And navigate to the ellipse and set the ellipse width and height to 9, uh, 9 1, 5. I'll click OK, uh, align uh, with your space. Guys, I want for all of my comments so they uh, fly from the gloom. So, in order to do that, navigate to your gradient and select a pretty default gradient. Then grab your gradient tool and I'm gonna align it from bottom left to top right, like so. Um, I feel I have some troubles here. Okay, I'm gonna reverse my gradient. So this is our dark color stop and this is our white color stop. Pretty nice. Now let's create some stars. In order to do this, grab your circle, leave the isolation mode, and with this circle, create a tiny circle, 12 points to 12 points, make it white, and then navigate to your symbols panel, and again, click on this icon new symbol. I'm gonna create a new symbol again, grab my symbol sprayer tool, spray some symbols in the space, then grab my symbol size tool and holding Alt, I'm gonna make them smaller. Now with this uh, set, I'm gonna navigate to transparency and set it, uh, and decrease the opacity to around 60%. So our distant planet is a simple circle that has width and height around 100 points. Nice. 
and this very cold gradient. So these are the colors of this gradient. And of course, you can find them in the description. So go to the uh, gradient panel and apply the leftmost 74 CDDP. Then in the middle, but it's not really a middle, it's a location around 36%. And last, the, dark, the darkest one on the location of 100%. Then grab your gradient tool and align your gradient from top left to bottom right. Nice. Now let's play this planet like so and go to the transparency and decrease the tran opacity to 50%. Then go to the effect, stylize. This step is optional, I think, and go to the feather and set the feather to 5 points. Click OK. Last steps of this tutorial is to apply this border, guys. In order to do this, grab your background, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and move it to the top of your layer stack, like so. Switch between width and height, and apply a color. And this time I'm gonna apply this, let's say this blue color, go to the properties panel and increase the stroke like so to around let's say 40 points then go to the effects stylize and drop shadow and for this drop shadow i'm gonna set the opacity to 25 percent and leave other values as a default so guys this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. By the way, uh, the last step, the last step is to of course move our planet on the top of our layer stock. Like so. Then move, uh, sorry guys, move our comets and our stars on the bottom of our layer stock. Like so. So guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to visit tutorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.